Lego Americana Roadshow. That is really cool. Dude, this one is huge. again morning and it's that place again the Kyle family vlog it is 7 12 in the morning and I've been on the computer since 3 30 ish um, so generally what we do is we get everything producing we we do all the editing we tell uh, we tell it to print or to produce or whatever it is we got up this morning and discovered that the music video had stopped printing at 67% and uh, the computer had crashed. So I got it up and running again, got it producing, and watched it for a few minutes. I was literally just about to go to bed when it crashed again. Did that basically a couple more times, trying a few different things, and still nothing worked. And finally, about 20 minutes ago, I was able to find it's a documented problem, and basically, the files corrupted. So, um, right now I have uh, yesterday's vlog producing and I actually have uh, the song uploading to a couple places, just the straight song, not the music video. And I am going to lay down, it's now 7.15, I'm going to lay down and try and get a little bit of sleep. Went to bed at around 1 something, then I was back up at 4.30 working. Um, today is supposed to be a really long day, so I'm gonna lay down to see which see how much sleep I can get. Oh, I'm tired. I'm uh, I'm a little frustrated with the whole thing. After having a fairly rough night, I'm really grateful to realize, discover whatever, that it's just that one file and everything else works fine still. Because for a few minutes. I thought it was a hardware problem, and I'm really grateful it's not a hardware problem. Then I thought it was a power director problem, and I'm really grateful it's not that. I don't have to uninstall things, I don't have to go troubleshoot things, I just have to rebuild one video. But it has been a long night, and today is going to be an equally long day. I think that's kind of the lesson, though, is that doing anything that you really want to do, doing anything that really matters to you is usually going to require two things in my opinion. One is passion. We talk about that a lot. Most people are, are really like, follow your passion or whatever. But the other one's discipline. And the thing is, is when Nat and I decided we were going to start Silver and Zeus uh, in 2015, a couple of years ago, when we made it official, we were like, we're going to do this. We decided to give it 20 years. And we figure, you know, in 20, in 18 years, we can reevaluate and see if it's been worth doing or not because we realize it's going to take a long time and it's going to take a lot of hard work. This is not, <laughs> this is definitely not the first time that one or both of us has stayed up really late or all night actually because Silver and Zeus needed it. That, that project, that goal of ours, our deadline, whatever it was, had to get done. And it's not going to be the last. You have to love what you're doing, and I really do love what I'm doing. And part of the reason you have to love it is because I don't expect any type of success really soon. I don't expect to ever be some big musician. But even if nobody ever listens to my music than me, and they're missing out if they don't because I think we make good music. This song that we're releasing today is one of my favorites that we've ever written. But even if nobody stops to listen to it, and it's just me and Nat, I would still be making it, you know? We had some different thoughts about vlogging when we first started, and we were like, well, we'll try it and see what it's actually like. And it turns out we absolutely love it and would probably keep doing it, even if it was just us watching it and a couple close family members and friends, you know? In the end, it's a lot of work but I'm happier doing the work than not. 
I'm going to take a nap. I'm getting a little rambly because I'm tired. Thanks for listening to me, guys. It is 11.03, so we are a little bit behind schedule. This has actually been the most difficult re release we've had since probably three or four, re what, our third or fourth release. It's not going to be out till tonight or tomorrow, but since I'm rebuilding it, it'll be a little bit later. But 11.05, and the song on SoundCloud, which is where we get our the most of our traffic, is... Live. I'll put the link down below if you haven't already checked it out. We'll also be sharing it on Twitter and Facebook. I'm doing all the talking because Natalie is feeding Tibbs. Right I'm now. always feeding Tibbs. This child never stops eating, folks. This is why he's so big. I'm feeding him. Always. I'm sorry that I look awful. I am still my morning swamp monster. I will be looking more human shortly. But if you haven't followed us on SoundCloud yet, you should go check out our SoundCloud page. We only have some of our music up on YouTube. All of our music is up on SoundCloud, and it's all free downloads, so go take a look. One of the things that really annoys me at times is this. We just barely pushed publish. I went and got dressed. I come back. Look at the song. It has two plays. Now look how many hearts it has. It has seven. One of those is from us. Two of those are from real people. The other five are from a group that uh, doesn't actually play your music. They just go and uh, a bunch of them all hard at trying to draw a bunch of attention to that group. And they say that they're helping your stats by, by uh, just hitting the heart button for you. But the thing is, is it doesn't really help. It skews the stats. It makes it look to certain people like more people like it. but. For us, we actually use our analytics. Our stats help us improve, they help us know if our marketing is working, etc. So I really dislike groups like that. I would prefer to actually just have the natural promotion and then the people who actually like listening to it going and liking it. I would rather have a hundred real fans who I know and who I know they like the music, I know what they like about it, I know what they dislike about it, etc. than to have a couple people who just show up and pretend that they're trying to make you look good when really they're just trying to draw attention to their own thing. So, that annoys me. We are super behind today. <laughs> we're supposed to be heading up to Denver to help with um, a church thing, and then we're going on, an event, uh, gone, going on a couple of other adventures. There's a bunch of stuff going on. We're gonna go up, do the church thing. Probably not gonna vlog that because it's church stuff, and I feel like it's more important to be involved than to be holding the camera. Um, but, then we'll at least have some adventures before we come home. Hello. I put on lipstick this morning. I love that I have a wife that doesn't need makeup to look pretty. Actually, yeah, that's, that's my main point. And then this little guy. He is doing much better this morning. He had a rough night. He had a rough time till about, I don't know, four in the morning, and then he was finally able to start eating and sleeping again, so that was good. Well, we're all done with church stuff, and where are we going? The mall. The mall has... What do they have? Legos. There's a Lego... festival. Happy Earth Day. A happy Earth Day, as Nat just said. We're gonna go see what it is. I don't know what it's called. It's a Lego something, and there's supposed to be a bunch of... Well, we'll show you in a bit. Nat is here with 17-year-old Sean at the mall, who didn't want to bring in his flannel shirt to wear because he said it clashes with his outfit. I want you to look at his outfit. Polo shirt, right? Sweats. Look, this is the type this is the type of polo shirt that you wear with sweats though. Hello little tiber chew. How are you? There's a lot to look at in here, huh? Yes there is. The Lego Americana Roadshow.
there's actually 10 exhibits and we just saw numbers 2, 3 and 4. We're going to go back to number 1 which is by Nordstrom. Go back and probably buy that longboard at the mall at some point. I know, the purple one. Yeah. <laughs> I am always slightly shocked. Not shocked. I'm always slightly surprised, kind of on the disappointed side, how many strange looks Sean gets whenever he's the one carrying the baby and not me. I must be that crazy look in my eye. What's interesting is, so I've been feeding him most of the time with it. And, uh, I've gotten maybe three of the like, oh, that's so cute looks, and then I've gotten some like downright stare downs, usually from like 50 plus year old women. He keeps getting that look like, is that your baby? Should we call somebody? Is that his baby? Are you sure? I told Sean that he just needed to use his best Jack Donaghy voice and talk about the resemblance between their piercing blue eyes. <laughs> I made the joke. She then told me that it should be in a Jack Donaghy voice. I would like credit. Though you didn't hear the joke, so whatever. <laughs> I don't remember any cool Legos like this when I was a kid. I'm so excited for some of this stuff. I'm so excited to get to play Legos with my son. with this one is that they set each clock to a different time. Oops. That is really cool. Dude, this one is huge. It took a team of eight builders 1,700 hours. The thing I think is so impressive about some of this is the ability to make something look grand from far away and still have that much detail up close. That's so cool. I haven't wanted to touch anything, but something about these doors, I just want to like... Oh. <laughs> They have a small section up here where you can stop and build stuff. So of course Sean's like, ooh, let's go build something. We might be here for a while, folks. I put this together, his three like favorite colors to look at, and his jaw just dropped. He lost all interest in this and is just staring. Oh, oh you can't build with them yet, but you like them. 
You can build a car and race it down a track. Tibbs and I are going to do this together, our first manly project. This is to provide shade. On your mark, get set, go, you can't see it. <laughs> it survived. It's good sound design. We're gonna have to come back to this mall at some point because they have a cheesecake factory. We love the cheesecake factory. We used to go there in Houston quite a bit. They have a Merrill store here, and I love Merrill shoes. I like these. And these. Those. They're playing basketball. I think. Oh no, they're they're running underground. Nice little oh, underground cool. swimming pool with Neptune. The ghost hunting the mice. They have a Tesla store here, which is super sweet. Someday, I want a Tesla. That's Sean's dream car. And here we see Sean in another life. Ooh, steely. When I was a kid, I literally played Legos hundreds, hundreds of hours each year, probably. One of my favorite things was that my dad would play with me. And so when we found out we're having a boy, I got really excited for Legos. So this just kind of, I know he's gonna be a little while, but we'll get him some of those little Lego Duplo blocks. Um, and he can play with those and I'll play with those with him for a while. And then we'll get him real Legos, you know, when he's ready. But that was a lot of fun. Super cool. We're gonna come I was back. Impressed. I'm gonna come back in the next month or two. But if you're in the Colorado Springs area, and you want to come to this, if you can come on the 29th or 30th, they're actually giving away free Legos to kids. I think it's just a little uh, figurine. We can't come then because we have other things we're doing. So, come on the 29th or 30th. Well, guys. We're back from Denver. We had a wonderful time today. Glad you could join us. And we have editing from today to do. And we've got to rescue a music video still and things like that. So we need to have our celebratory jarritos. We are having the jarritos. And then we are winding down for the night. In the meantime, while he's grabbing the sodas, if you haven't listened to our new song yet, it's out now. So go take a listen. It's called You and Me Together. You can find it on our SoundCloud page. Also, we will have the YouTube music video available very shortly, hopefully tomorrow. We'll plan on it tomorrow because we're going to have to yes. reprint it and upload it. 
Go take a listen, give it a like, thumbs up, share, whatever floats your boat. It's a free download. If you like it enough, you can actually, if you hit the buy button on SoundCloud, it will. you can download it for free. Mm-hmm. Just like all of our other singles. Hi, my name is Tibbs. Thanks for watching this vlog. I'm gonna keep eating my hand now. Okay, goodbye. <clears throat> Pay no attention to that. My name is Admiral Tiberius Grayson Kyle. <laughs> And I want an apple. This is sign language for apple. Bring me an apple. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Okay, we have the Jarritos. Clink! Yeah. Ooh, I like how you pineapple. took the drink and the camera just goes like this. <laughs> I'm still getting used you to You guys this, are okay. all getting tipped over. Mm. Anyway, we had a great time at the mall today, and a great time before that, having fun with some church people, so thanks for joining us. And we will see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye.